threats from the outside so you can relax on the inside. Two sugars, no milk, please. Okay. The Kelly Clarkson Show, weekdays at 2 on LEX 18. Center of the storm, fallout intensifying over that FBI search of Donald Trump's home in Florida with Republicans rallying around the former president. I believed he was going to run before. I'm as stronger in my belief now. What we're learning about the timing of that search and what agents removed and new overnight, Trump set to testify under oath today in another investigation surrounding his business empire. The very latest, straight ahead. Mixed signals, all eyes on new inflation numbers being released this morning, with gas prices dropping, but the cost of other staples still sky high. What it could mean for your wallet. We're live with a full report. Caught on camera, the dramatic moment a small plane attempts an emergency landing on a crowded California highway and bursts into flames. The pilot somehow miraculously managing to walk away. What he's saying this morning. Those stories plus securing our schools with millions of children ready to start the new school year. A Today exclusive revealing new technology behind improving classroom safety. Students get to the safe zone. Students get to the safe zone. Just ahead, an inside look at what's being done to save lives. And Little League Big Hearts, a frightening scene at a baseball game. Oh, look out. Takes an unexpected turn, becoming an inspiring display of compassion. He wants him to know that it's okay, that he'll be fine. We'll hear from the boys capturing hearts around the world for that remarkable show of sportsmanship. Today, Wednesday, August 10th, 2022. From NBC News, this is Today with Savannah Guthrie and Oda Cuppy. Live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. And welcome to today. Thank you so much for starting your Wednesday morning with us. Craig Melvin here alongside Chanel Jones. Good morning. Savannah and Hoda have this Wednesday off and what was really a scary moment turned into quite the inspiration. A moment mm -hmm. that little league hug that everyone's been talking about. Yeah, that, that's pretty it scary. takes your breath away there for and a moment. Isaiah Jarvis, the kid in the blue there, this is really uh, cool comes over, that. hugs the pitcher. And it, it really has ignited uh, quite the conversation. So we're going to dig into that in just That's a bit. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, but we are going to start this morning with some new information surrounding that FBI search of former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. Yes, we're learning more about how it all went down. Agents arrived on the scene at about 9 a.m. on Monday and were there until 6.30 at night, a nine-and-a-half-hour search. The former president's lawyer saying officials took about a dozen boxes from the site. Meanwhile, it was just 90 days until the midterms there are new questions this morning about what happens next and what the political fallout will be we've got it all covered for you this morning starting with NBC's chief White House correspondent Kristen Welker in Washington Kristen good morning to you Craig and Chanel, good morning to both of you. Former President Trump will be facing more legal scrutiny today. He will sit for a